Let's take a look at another example. This time I've got a sample of neon gas. It has a volume of 35.1 liters, a pressure of 850 torr, and a temperature of 265 Kelvin. I would like to know the mass of neon present in this sample. Just like with the last problem, I want to make sure the units of my data are correct before I use the ideal gas law. Liters are good and Kelvin are good, but if you look at the ideal gas constant, I want my pressure in atmosphere. The first thing I'm going to do is take my 850 torr and convert it to atmospheres. I know that one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 torr, and so I get a pressure of 1.12 atmospheres. The question is asking for the amount of gas in the sample. So PV equals NRT, so the amount is going to be N is going to equal PV over RT. I know my pressure in the correct units is 1.12 atmospheres, and we are given a volume of 35.1 liters. My ideal gas constant is 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin, and the temperature is 265 Kelvin. I can check with my units. Atmospheres cancel atmospheres, liters cancel liters, Kelvin cancel Kelvin. So I'm going to be left with 1 over 1 over moles as my unit, which is the same thing as moles. So when I plug that in, I get the number of moles as 1.81 moles of neon gas. But the question wasn't asking for the moles of neon gas. The question is asking for the mass of neon gas. So neon has a molar mass of 20.18 grams for every one mole. So when I convert that to grams, I get a mass of 36.4 grams of neon.